David Alperin is a long way from Wall Street. It was a major transition in my life. I lost my job, went back to school, and started this new business. After Citigroup laid him off in 2009, David reassessed and completely switched gears. I started talking to my sister who had done this program for jewelry design and I realized that this was something I was always interested in. I think job retraining is critical. We're seeing that uh, employers want people with higher levels of skill. About $4 billion has been appropriated for the Workforce Investment Act, the biggest federal job retraining program. But is retraining the answer for America's unemployment crisis? A 2008 study released by the Labor Department questioned conventional wisdom. The impact for the typical worker it did not seem as if the benefits were particularly large. I uh, absolutely disagree with that. We see time and time again people who have additional training, they are able to go into jobs. But critics say the challenge is predicting those jobs. The problem is nobody really, you know, I've been a labor economist um, for, for over 15 years, and I don't do a very good job of predicting what the next hot new job is. I don't think we should get rid of the job training programs. I think we need to work on improving them so that they, they're better targeted. These are my jewelry cases. And red tape almost sabotaged David's quest for a new career. Because he was laid off from the financial industry in New York, he qualified for a national emergency grant for job retraining. This was helping people who lived on Main Street but worked on Wall Street. But going to school for jewelry design, well, that raised some eyebrows at the Labor Department. They said that's not really what we classify as an in-demand occupation. For the job of the future. Yeah, and that, that was the part that kind of frustrated me. I said, here I am trying to do something of interest um, and follow a passion. So you almost didn't get the money. Yeah. But in the end, he did $10,000 for tuition and expenses. And less than two years later, he sells the jewelry he designs and a friend's clothing line at his Brooklyn boutique. This is my 14 karat gold bezel ring. Two years ago, you were a banker, yeah. and, and now you're running your own boutique, trying to make it, trying to turn a profit. Are you happier now? I am. I am. I work harder now. In New York, Poppy Harlow reporting.